After weeks of back and forth, the Los Angeles Dodgers invite the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence to their Pride Night. The decision has sparked passionate voices on both sides of the debate. They will invite this group that mocks the Catholic faith and makes fun of the Catholic religion. I'm glad the Dodgers re-invited them for sure. I think a lesson to be learned through all this is go back down to bullies. Hundreds of people demonstrated outside Dodger Stadium ahead of tonight's Pride Night event, which included the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. Good evening. I'm Greg Lee. And I'm Christina Rondone. The Dodgers disinvited the San Francisco-based drag organization once Catholic groups objected, but outrage over that decision from LGBTQ groups prompted the team to reinvite the sisters. KTV's Jana Katsuyama is live in San Francisco tonight, where she got reaction from sports fans and the sisters. Jana. Yes, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence who were here in San Francisco actually held a charity event near Union Square. We talked to them about this. They uh, mentioned it during the event tonight. They say that this whole controversy has put them onto this huge national stage, which they say has brought both more supporters as well as more critics. The protesters began gathering outside Dodger Stadium four hours before the game. They held a prayer protest, saying they believe the Dodgers should not honor the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, who dress in drag as nuns and priests. And so I want to say thank you all for being taking the first step in that, for being out here today and saying enough is enough. We love all the brothers and sisters and the ones they offend our, our religion. We just only we can say God bless to them. The controversy exploded when the Dodgers announced they would honor the Los Angeles branch of the sisters with a community award at Friday night's Pride game. After the Los Angeles Archdiocese and other Catholic groups from outside the state protested, the Dodgers withdrew the invitation, but then re-invited the sisters back after the team's pride partners threatened to boycott the night. I think of all the time to be prideful, this is it. You know, we need to stand up and, you know, represent who we are and, you know, not let other people discourage us. At the High Top Sports Bar in San Francisco's Castro neighborhood, some fans said they're glad the Dodgers included the sisters who are a charitable organization raising money for LGBTQ causes. It's just upsetting that this whole thing even happens. They exemplify uh, Christian values more than any so-called people that are against um, the queer community, so I think they're amazing. And At the Elks Lodge 3 in San Francisco, the San Francisco Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence were volunteering for a charity pride bingo night and mentioned their sister group in L.A. getting the Dodgers award. Sister Vina Sinfers was raised Catholic and hopes those who believe the sisters are mocking the faith will understand their true purpose. We get grief for mocking religion, but the origins of the sisters are in giving ministry to people who faith, whose faiths and families had turned out their back on them when they were dying of AIDS. And that's what we've been doing here for 43 years. Opponents say the sisters are showing prejudice against Catholics and Christians. Sister Vina says the nonprofit hopes for a faith that is more accepted and supportive. My parents' marriage ended when our parish priest had an affair with my mother. My grandmother lived her life in shame because she couldn't bury a stillborn baby in the church cemetery. You know, there's what we offer is ministry without judgment and unqualified love. And the Dodgers uh, ceremony honoring the sister did take place, but it did happen almost an hour before the game started. And so you can see from some of the pictures that it was largely an empty stadium. The Dodgers, meantime, did say that they are planning to hold a Christian faith and family night at the end of July. Jenna Katsuyama in the city tonight. Jenna, thank you.